Hello, this is Mayor Rusty Knox, and I'd like to welcome each of you to the 2022 Martin Luther King Jr. celebration. This year would mark Martin Luther King Jr.'s 93rd birthday. The things that he experienced, the things that inspired him, and the barriers he fought to take down are still the driving focus that we here in Davidson aspire to achieve. And I pray that work never stops until we reach that mountaintop of which he spoke. At this time, I would, I would like to read a proclamation. Whereas each year, America sets aside a day to remember a giant of our nation's history, a pioneer of the civil rights movement. And whereas Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave a mighty voice to the quiet hopes of millions, offered a redemptive path for oppressed and oppressors alike, and led a nation to the mountaintop. And whereas behind the bars of a Birmingham jail cell, he reminded us that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Whereas on a hot summer day, under the shadow of the great emancipator, he challenged America to make good on its founding promise, and he called on every lover of freedom to walk alongside their brothers and sisters. And whereas we are reminded that our journey is not complete, it is our task to build on the gains of past generations, from challenging new barriers to the vote, ensuring the scales of justice work equally for all people. And whereas Dr. King taught us that an individual has not started living until he can rise above the narrow confines of his individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity. Whereas in honor of this spirit, Americans across the country will come together for a day of service by volunteering our time and energy. Together we can build stronger healthier and more resilient communities. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Rusty Knox of the town of Davidson, do hereby proclaim January 17th, 2022, as Martin Luther King Jr. Day in the town of Davidson and encourage all citizens to observe this day with appropriate civic, community, and service projects to honor Dr. King. Proclaimed this 17th day of January, 2022. Thank you.
this weekend, many will celebrate the legacy of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I believe that every chance we come together as a community, we honor Dr. King's vision. It's a vision where diversity in background, experience, in thought, age, socioeconomic status, culture, and ethnicity is actually empowering. When we come together in unity, we honor those who have paved the way for us, those who have made significant contributions to our community, our neighborhoods, and even our personal lives. Let's continue to make efforts to build upon that great rich heritage. If we each make the effort to do a little, we can accomplish a lot. Whatever actions we make toward justice, peace, and unity, let's keep moving forward so that we can build a better tomorrow. As we come together again to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day here in the town of Davidson, I in particular am really honored to be able to have this opportunity to just speak on his legacy and how much he meant and continues really to mean um, in our community today. You know, when I think about one of his, his most iconic moments in his speech, during the 1963 March on Washington, Dr. King called for civil and economic justice. And he also called for an end to racism here in the United States. And when I think about that, you know, that was really considered the defining moment of the civil rights movement. And it certainly went down as one of the most iconic speeches in American history. But when I think about that in relation to our community today, sadly, I must say that Dr. King, he could make that same speech in our community today. When we think about economic injustice, it's impossible to overlook the history of things like redlining and really the, the housing injustices that in so many ways contributed to the wealth divide that exists today. You know, for most Americans, you know, our homes, that's really where we build the greatest amount of wealth for ourselves and our families. And there was a time in our history, not too long ago, where people of color were not able to own property and certainly not able to own property in neighborhoods in which they chose makes me think that, you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Dr. King made that I have a dream speech on August 28th, 1963, nearly 60 years ago. At that time, the average household was lucky if they had a television set. Uh, many people didn't even have a telephone. And look at our world today, most people have a cell phone, despite their socioeconomic status. And because of something called the internet, many people don't even need a television to watch their favorite program. And speech, speaking of watching their favorite program, it used to be a time where we all had to gather around the television at a certain time when the program came on. And now binge watching is a thing because we can watch when, what we want, when we want. But again, Dr. King could make that I have a dream speech today and it would still be relevant. In fact, if I could talk to Dr. King, I would say to him, just as it was in 63, we still have a dream that's deeply rooted in the American dream. We still dream of a day where our nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of the creed we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. We still have that dream. We can still say that we dream 
of the day. We're descendants of former slaves, descendants of former slave owners, those that have been oppressed as well as those that have oppressed. We still dream of the day when we can all join together in our communities and dwell together in unity. As you said nearly 60 years ago, we still dream of the day where our children will be judged not by the color of their skin, not by the style of their hair, not by the syntax of their speech, but by the content of their character. We still have that dream today. We still dream of the day where we won't be debating whether Black Lives Matter or All Lives Matter, but we'll simply regard the entire species of humanity as one family where each of us has the responsibility to support and protect one another. As you said then, so it remains today. Not until we allow freedom to truly reign from every home, every street, every community, every city, and every state will our nation truly be able to make that dream our current reality. As we celebrate the birth of one of the greatest leaders in the history of our great nation, it is my hope that we keep that dream alive, but truly make that dream our reality.
Hello, my name is Eugene Bradley. I'm the Housing Equity Director for the Town of Davidson. I'd like to say thank you for attending our Martin Luther King virtual events. Uh, this was a great uh, event this year. We are excited uh, about even next year and be able to put on an in-person event. And so we're looking for our community members to help support us and lead that effort. Uh, so if you have an interest, please contact myself and or Leslie Willis, and we will uh, contact you and work with you on forming a, a really monumental event for next year. Again, thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you. Good afternoon. As you know, housing is an important part of the economic viability of the town of Davidson. Davidson is one of the most unique cities in North Carolina, and I would argue the United States. I'm Dorian Carter, president of On Point Partners. My company has been contracted to update the affordable housing plan for the town of Davidson. As part of the plan, we will be conducting a survey of the citizens and stakeholders of the town. We have five main goals that we are looking to achieve with the survey. First, we wanna create a unifying affordable housing plan by receiving community input to help shape the types of affordable housing. We wanna increase and maximize public engagement in the town of Davidson affordable housing survey. We want to continue to enhance the transit-oriented development planning and decision-making around affordable housing. We then want to increase citizen awareness and, and understanding of affordable housing as it exists in the town. And lastly, we want to continuously improve housing for all individuals that reside in the town of Davidson. Over the next 60 days, we will be conducting a survey that will be shared throughout our various towns' assets. We look forward to hearing your valuable input on how to improve affordable housing in the town of Davidson.